Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Deputy Prime Ministers, and all invited dignitaries, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all at this momentous occasion for celebrating the construction completion of Shuakhui Power Project. Four years ago, exactly at this location, the groundbreaking ceremony was held, and now we are celebrating the construction of uh, construction completion of this huge project. I would request Honorable Prime Minister Mr. Georgi Kirikashvili to please come to the stage and share his views and feelings. Thank you, sir. Mogesalmevich, Megobrebo, Mugesalmevi, Patitsem Stumrebs, Inda Mogilotsot, Sakartoloshi Umnishnelo Anesi, Energetic Uli Projectis, Shuachevis, Hydroelectro Sadguris, Sheneblovis, Dasruleva. Esgarhot Umshulesi, Electro Sadguri, Machoris, Ratski, Ashenebula, Chenskoranashi, Polo Atsle Ulevis Ganolovash, Rats Tawaria, Esaris, Sartashori so practic it got all is in a bully, Hoyla normis the standard is that sweet Ashenebuli, Hydroelectro Sadguri. Minda Madlova Gada Uhado, Compania Ajaris Ali Georgias, Romel Matsakartolos Energetic Sectors, S. Umsquilesi, Hydroelectro Sadguri Shezina. Madlova Sukti, Hoyla Compania Sada Utskebas, Romlevitz Active Radical and Chartuli, Am Proectis, Sarmatevit and Hortzelevash. In the Madloba Utra, Tito Tan of Shomels, Shenebels, Roman Tahelita Sashenda, S. Hydroelectro Sadgur, Kansa Kutrebuli Madloba Minda Utra, Zirita Dinvestorebs, Norwegian Company, Clean Energies, the Indur Company at Ataj Groups, Romlebmats S. Unicalur in Agaboba Ashenes, the Amistis, Otras Tepsmeti million dollars in Vestitia Gana Portsilis, S. Gaklaut Air Thirty Umskulesi Pirda Periusko in Vestitia. Romelit Chuan's Kuranashi Gakurtsev. Minda Asev has a Gausa in Nishnelo and Sulils. Romelit's arm project is Sarma Tevit Gakurtsev with Sakmashi, Shaitan Saita Shoriso Sapinaso Institute, Saita Shoriso Sapinaso Corporatium, Europe is Reconstructis at the Gantarebis Bankma, the Aziz Gantarebis Bankma. Ogre Senebat, Energetic Sperosh Gakurtsevuli, Titoeuli Projecti, Titoeuli Ahali Megawati. Ida Vertiz in Gadagul Nabija, Chueni Quernis, Energetically Damu, Ida Lobisatis, the Energetically Usap Hobis Gazli Rebis Mimartulit. Chueni Unishon and Siamots and Agahlot, Importerable Energetically Resusebi, Mokle Perio Chichavana Slot, Adgizet Armoebuli Electro Energy. Amisatis Outsi Rebellia, Halkis Adam Tauro Bis Etianova, Saita Shoris of Sapinas or Institute of Biscardajera, the Roberts Adgil Brivi, is a Utskoel Investor Rebis. Maximal Richardulo. Kansa Kutrevit Minda Unishnor of Esgahlot, Kamurcheuli Projecti, Karemos Zemok Medevis Contextis. Esaris Pirueli Hydroelectro Sadguri Sakartoloshi, Romelit Serti Pizirebulia, Climatis Slile Vishesaheb Gairos, Charcho Convencis Mir, Nakshir Batis Gano of Pishesam Sirebla, the Uzun and Ops, Sadguri Gazebis Elitachi, Orasi Ataston and the Shem Sirebas. Asevi Arsamishnavia, Shuahevi has his projectis, Technicuri Mahasia Tevlevitz, Kansa Kutrebitki, Osta Chidmet, Kilometrianic Virabi, Romelis Soplioshi, Meore Gaklot Sidinit. Saliam Nisholovania Rome, Ajaris Ali, Georgia Sakmianova, Maram Tian Ajarashim Holot, Hesis Sheneblovit, Archemoi Parglevo. Companiam Shekvna, Precedenti, Socialuri Pasukis Geblovis Mimartulevit, the Quekanashi Amkri. Sakmianovis Magali standard is done with them. Am projectma uke mouta na sarge beli adgilobri mosakhlevas socialuri projecte bis dasakme bis ta kompensatsiis kutxit. Asev mnishnolo mani tsuli li sheitana adgilobri biujachi gada sakade bis sakhit. Oveli ves ratkma unda achari se ekonomi kurganu itare bas ta adgilobri mosakhlevas chore bis donis ganu jobese bas emsakhureba. Akwe minda kide vertkel agu mnishno. From Sakhem Tipom Harsuchas, the Mushovs, Kanak Lebadi Energy Bisatusebis, Karis Adam Zis Electro Sadgurebis, Projecta Vishesta Ulisa, Tam Shenebobis Mimatulevit. Orid Risin, Bem Taurobis Domaze Ganwas Hade, from Chuans Taurobas, Sakartolo Sapondo Birjaze, Gasakidat Gamuaks, Karis, Electro Sadguris Aksiebi, 
და მოქალაქეებს მათ შეძენა სთავაზობს. ძალიან მნიშვნელოვანია რომ ჩვენს მოქალაქეებს გაუჩნდეთ ჩართულობის შეგზნება იმ ძალიან მნიშვნელოვან პროექტებში, რომელსაც ჩვენ ახორციელებთ. მე დარწმუნებული ვარ, რომ შუახევი ჰესი თავის წვლილს შეიტანს საქართველოს ენერგოდამოუკიდებლობის მიღწევაში და იქნება ერთ-ერთი სამაგალითო პროექტი პოტენციური ინვესტორებისათვის და მე დარწმუნებული ვარ, რომ არსებულ ინვესტორებს ექნებათ კიდევ უფრო საინტერესო გეგმები მომავლისთვის. ახლა მინდა სიტყვა გადავცე ენერგეტიკის მინისტრს ადამიანს, რომელმაც ძალიან მნიშვნელოვანი არაერთი პროექტი განახორციელა თავისი მინისტრად საქმიანობის პერიოდში. მინდა სიტყვა გადავცე ადამიანს, რომელსაც ძალიან საინტერესო პოლიტიკური გეგმები აქვს და მე დარწმუნებული ვარ, სადაც კარგი კალაძე იქნება, იქ იქნება წარმატებაც. მინდა კიდევ ერთხელ თქვენი სახელით მადლობა გადაუხადო მას იმ ძალიან ნაყოფიერი საქმიანობისთვის, რომელსაც ის ეწეოდა ენერგეტიკის მინისტრის პოსტზე ყოფნის პერიოდში და უსურვო წარმატებები, რომლებშიც მე პირადად და ჩვენი გუნდი დარწმუნებულია. დიდი მადლობა. ხატონო პრემიერ მინისტრო კოლეგებო დიპლომატიური კორპუსის წარმომადგენლებო ხალბატონებო და ბატონებო პირველი ქში მოგესალმებით მადლობას მოგახსენებთ დღეს აქ მოგზანებისთვის დღეს ჩვენი დარგისთვის სექტორისთვის მართლაც ძალიან მნიშვნელოვანი დღეა შეიძლება ითქვას რომ საქართველოს დამოუკიდებლობის ისტორიაში ჩვენ ხსნით ყველაზე მძლავრ ჰიდროელექტროსადგურს ჩვენი ქვეყანა დგას დიდი მოვლენების დიდი პროცესების და რაც მთავარია პოლიტიკური და ეკონომიკური მოწყობის გზაზე. ჩვენი როლი რეგიონში იზრდება. ჩვენი წვლილი საერთო ევროპულ ენერგეტიკულ თანამეგობრობაში მნიშვნელოვანია და ეს ყველაფერი ერთობლივად გვაძლევს სტიმულს და მიმართულებას, გვიქნის ყველანაირ პირობას იმისთვის, რომ მაქსიმალური ძალისხმევა მიმართოთ ქვეყნის ენერგოდამოუკიდებლობისათვის. სამაყო ანამდვილად ის ფაქტი, რომ ჩვენ საქართველოში ვქნით პროდუქტს, პროდუქციას, რომელიც შეიძლება გამოვიყენოთ არა მხოლოდ შიდა მოხმარებისთვის, არამედ გვაქვს შესაძლებლობა ეს პროდუქტი გავიტანოთ ჩვენს მეზობელ ქვეყნებში და არა მხოლოდ ასევე ევროპულ ქვეყნებში. აუცილებლად მინდა აღვნიშნო რომ ჩემთვის პირველივე დღიდან იყო პატივი და დიდი პასუხისმგებლობა ამ დარგის ხელმძღვანელობა. თითეული პატარა თუ დიდი გამარჯვება წინ გადადგმული ნაბიჯი, ახალი ობიექტი, მუდმივი განახლების პროგრესის პროცესი ენერგეტიკაში ეს ყველაფერი ქმნის მუდმივ შეგზნებას, რომ დარგი ვითარდება, ქვეყანა ვითარდება, რადგან ქვეყნის ენერგეტიკული წინსვლა, ენერგეტიკული განვითარება პირდაპირ კავშირშია ახალი სამუშაო ადგილების შექმნასთან და პირდაპირ კავშირშია ქვეყნის ენერგეტიკულ განვითარებასთან. ჩემი წარსული კარიერიდან გამომდინარე, როდესაც ჯერ კიდევ ფეხბურთს თამაშობდი ყოველთვის ვოცნებობდი იმაზე, რომ კარიერის დასრულების შემდეგ დაბრუნებული ყავი ჩემს ქვეყანაში. და ეს მართლაც ასეც ასე მოხდა და ყოველთვის ვოცნებობდი იმაზე, რომ რა გამეკეთებინა იმისთვის, რომ ჩემი პატარა წვლილი შემეტანა ქვეყნის განვითარებაში, ქვეყნის წინსვლაში. მე დღეს ნამდვილად მიამაყება ის, რომ ჩვენ მიმყოფებით აქ აჭარაში, სადაც გავხსენით ერთ-ერთი ძლიერი და ერთ-ერთი მსხვილი მასშტაბური პროექტი ჰიდროელექტროსადგური. მე მინდა პირველი ქში მადლობა მოვახსენო ჩემს თანაგუნდელებს. მადლობა მინდა უთხრა პრემიერ-მინისტრ ბატონ გიორგი კვირიკაშვილს, რადგან შეუძლებელია ასეთი მასშტაბური პროექტების განხორციელება, თუ არ იქნა გუნდის თანადგომა, თუ არ იქნა პრემიერ-მინისტრის მხარდაჭერა. მინდა ასევე ისარგებლო შემთხვევით და მადლობა გადაუხადო ჩემს თანამშრომლებს, რომლებიც დღედაღამის განმავლობაში 24 საათის რეჟიმში ზრუნავენ და მუშაობენ იმისთვის, რომ ქვეყანა ენერგეტიკულად განვითარდეს და ჩვენ არ ვიყოთ ელექტროენერგიის თვალსაზრისით დამოკიდებული ჩვენს მეზობელ ქვეყნებზე. მინდა მადლობა გადაუხადო ინვესტორ კომპანიას, ტატა ჯგუფს, რომელიც მსოფლიოში ერთ-ერთი უმსხვილესი კომპანიაა. მინდა მადლობა გადაუხადო ნორვეგიულ კომპანია Clean Energies. ასევე ძალიან დიდი მადლობა საერთაშორისო საფინანსო ინსტიტუტებს ხარდაჭერისთვის, თანადგომისთვის, რადგან მათი მხარდაჭერით ძალიან ბევრი ენერგეტიკული პროექტები ხორციელდება ქვეყანაში. მე მჯერას რომ 
چون واقعیت ما موالشیم شاید لبتا می وقت زد. تیم اسرام ساکارتولو اکنون با انرژیکولات داموی که دبلی که کنه. کی دوبار خیل می دام. زالیان دیدی مادل با مگاسینات دامه دارت من بولی وار. تی تهولی چون گان. ساده تصارم داری خود. ولی پرس گاوا که تب تیم است پیسرام چون که اکنون گان می تاره باشید از این سلاسی چونی پاتارات خیلی شدید. کی دوبار خیل مادل با دگی سرپ تارم تکس. Thank you, sir, for your kind and encouraging words. I would now like to invite Managing Director and CEO of Tata Power, Mr. Anil Sardana. Mr. Sardana has dr been driving Tata Power's efforts to change its portfolio to a primarily renewable uh, enhanced uh, structure and has been personally paying attention to this uh, project and has largely contributed to the success of this project. Mr. Sardana, please. Mr. Prime Minister, Mr. Vice Prime Minister and Minister of Energy, Mr. Kakar, First Vice Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, Mr. Dimitri, Chairman of uh, Government of uh, Republic of Ajara, Mr. Zirab. Dignitaries from different government and international countries. Let me thank you for joining us today for this historic event. When one looks back, September 2013, in fact, 16th September 2013, we were here with then Prime Minister digging the first soil to build this project. It's not been full four years since we conceptualized this project that today we are declaring the completion at the hands of the present Prime Minister. We are also honored that on 19th March 2015, two years back, we declared the financial closure at the behest of then Prime Minister. These events clearly show that this project was not only executed like any other project, but with tremendous commitment and novelty. Many of those who are present here today at this historic moment must know this, that this project now enters a global record. No project of this size has ever been done in less than four years. No tunnel with dimension of 37 kilometers has been done in less than three years from the day it started. These two records will be very hard for even players like us to beat. And this has been possible not because of the fact that we as developers or our associates like AG or Alstom and many others who toiled on the ground and the Ajara community which helped us could make it happen, but also the fact that the government of Georgia really stood shoulder to shoulder to make sure that we complete this project ahead of time and dot on our commitment. Honorable Prime Minister mentioned, and also so did the Minister of Energy mention that this is environmentally very benign. In fact, UNFCC, which is United Nations Framework of Climate Change, has given this project an accreditation to trade on the clean development mechanism, and it therefore qualifies as a project to have reduced the carbon emission and is a part of clean development mechanism globally. Besides that, all the features in this project, including the way the river water will be spilled the way the river water will be made up, including development downstream in the fishing, are all very clear signs of being benign. But besides the fact, having done a landmark project with huge amount of concreting, huge amount of steel work, huge amount of safe 
considerations in design aspects, let me also add the fact that we don't want to just be in the business of building hydro projects or large projects. We want to work with the community, and that's what our character is. Many of you in this room may not know that Tata Group, each year since last 100 years, every year gives 66% profit back to the community and not necessarily in the business. This is a unique model anywhere in the globe where you actually repay the community back many times over what community gives you to establish your entities and establishment. And I guess along with our partners, and I must acknowledge both our partners stood by us and rather encouraged AGL to follow this concept. Both Clean Energy Invest of Norway as also IFC Ventures from Washington supported the cause of community in a big way. So let me enumerate some of the examples. There was a textile plant in Ajara which was abandoned. We took over that plant. We rehabilitated that. Today there are 100 women which are already trained, recruited to run that textile plant. It's already happening. We're not talking about future. We will take this number to 250 very soon because we're training yet more set of women locally to make sure that they will be able to export all the produce that they will be able to do in that textile plant. We are retaining the flora and fauna. We have developed a bot botanical garden here, which is going to be one of the rarest in terms of protecting the species of this entire habitat. In terms of biodiversity, you will find that the habitat of this area will be further strengthened and enhanced from what it was before. In addition to that, I'm very encouraged today when I met Georgian friends managing our control room. In fact, I would request Honorable Prime Minister to encourage some of our colleagues who are locals who are doing a fantastic job, shoulder to shoulder with others, in terms of managing the state of our technology. We are proud of them. We're proud of each Georgian who is now a part and parcel of this entire historical construction and will continue to operate this plant in the days ahead. We will, in fact, encourage more locals to actually learn the skills which we will impart to them and that they should work with this plant so that we actually come to a time when we have very little amount of people that we have to bring from outside. It should all be locally driven. It should all be locally run. It should gradually be won with a matter of great pride for Georgians. And therefore, true to our character, we would like to become a local Georgian company than being a company from outside. We will continue to work with community. We will take more pride in the fact that the company must, the company must continue to be recognized by community than being recognized by the Ministry of Power or by others in terms of contribution, which we will do. We will stand by our commitment to provide reliable power. But more important part, we will stand shoulder to shoulder with the community here and make sure that the community loves us and we love the community more and more in the days ahead. Thank you so much for being us, with us. I will fail in my duty if I don't acknowledge two of the earlier prime ministers who did tremendous support to us. I would therefore acknowledge the contribution of Mitsubishi eventually, who actually came here all the way to lay the foundation stone for this project. Wherever he is, my and my colleagues, heartfelt thanks to him for all the guidance that he provided, and also to Mr. Rakli Garivishivili, who also supported us during his term. Thank you so much. Thank you for all of you for having joined us. Thank you once again. Thank you, Mr. Sardana. Yes, this project is indeed very unique. It has united people from different cultures, different nationalities, different backgrounds. And today, what we are seeing, it's a permanent establishment in the country of Georgia. And it is a credit to the government of Georgia as also the Georgian people. They have welcomed all these cultures with open arms, and we'll see a different new professionalism emerge from this plant. Now, 
I would like to invite our co-sponsors, Clean Energy Invest, Chairman of Clean Energy Invest, Mr. Bard Mickelson. Clean Energy Invest, I would like to stress, has been the conceptualizer of this project. They have visualized this project, and it is their efforts and their team, entire clean energy team, which are seeing the realization of today's project. Thank you, Mr. Mickelson. Prime Minister, Minister, distinguished guests, as a chairman of the board of Clean Energy Invest, since it was founded in early 2010, and as one of the founders, I feel I'm positioned to give an executive summary of this successful project. We were initially a core Norwegian team with competence within uh, hydropower, but especially enthusiastic about developing the untapped hydropower potential in Georgia. And supported by Gross Energy in Tbilisi, they were the first partner here, we uh, made an application and were awarded uh, the license for developing this project the 29th of April 2010. Seven years ago, but for a hydropower project that is really on a fast track with a lot of support of important partners and players. We had a signing ceremony in Batumi the 10th of June 2011. Some of you were there. We had, as already mentioned, the groundbreaking ceremony here by the Prime Minister and others the 16th of September 2013. And we had financial close the 19th of March 2015. And the final milestone, construction completion today, which is great. From the beginning, we were committed to develop the project according to world-class standards. And we succeeded with partnering up with world-class sponsors, which is very important. And they are Norsk Mineral, Norwegian Mineral, IFC, and Tata Power. Then we added world-class management and world-class contractors within all parts of the value chain of this project. And many of you are sitting here. But great thanks to HE, done a great job. Mott McDonald's, GSE, GE, mentioned already gross energy, and GES, and others. There are many to be mentioned, but they have all been world-class in their deliveries and in their support. The overall perform performance of all parties involved made it possible to project finance this Ajari Squali GM. With IFC, EBRD, and ADB as lenders. Again, great thanks to uh, the government of uh, Georgia and your support. The Autonomous Republic of Jara should be mentioned. And not at least the uh, municipality here in uh, the valley, uh, Shuakevi and uh, Kuro. Your support has been crucial. And for the local people in uh, this valley, I also know that some of you are present, I hope that uh, infrastructure upgrade will compensate any inconvenience during construction. And I hope that business initiatives will grow and contribute to a sustainable future. A lot of people have done a great job. Olufur Birgisson and his team here on site is among them. 
But I would also like to mention, especially uh, Bjorn Bransek, sitting over here. He has been uh, with his excellent and enduring work all the time. He's really being the lead uh, propeller from the beginning in 2010. We are, of course, happy to be here on a sunny day. But we are looking forward to many rainy days. Because that is why fuel is the power plant of ours. And we hope for sustainable power prices. And we hope for a long-term sustainable relationship with all of you present. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mickelson. It is my pleasure now to invite Mr. Jan van Wilson from IFC. As you know, IFC is a co-sponsor to the project, but also one of the financiers. So IFC is playing a dual role. And thank you, Mr. Jan van Wilson, please. Thank you. Good afternoon, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to be here today with you on behalf of IFC, a member of the World Bank Group, to mark the completion of construction works at this groundbreaking project. First of all, let me express my sincere thanks to the Government of Georgia, the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Energy, the Minister of Finance, the Minister of Economy and others, and to our partners at Clean Energy Invest and Tata Power, to ADB and EBRD, and to all other parties involved in making the Shurakeke project happen. IFC has supported this project from the beginning to ensure a long-term source of renewable energy in the country that not only benefits local communities, but also helps Georgia achieve energy security. So it is a special pleasure to be here today to celebrate this historic moment. This project is very important to IFC for three reasons. First of all, from a global perspective. Energy is an important engine of growth for poverty reduction and for shared prosperity around the world. Our work in the global energy sector is designed to help secure affordable, reliable and sustainable energy supply. In total, IFC has financed more than 40 gigawatts of electricity generation in emerging markets, in addition to transmission and distribution investments. In 2015 alone, our projects provided electricity to 98 million people worldwide. For the past decades, our focus has shifted to renewable energy including the development of hydropower in an environmentally and socially sustainable way to mitigate the effects of climate change. This is a core strategy of the World Bank Group. IFC is the leading global investor in emerging markets renewable power. In the past 12 years, we have invested nearly $4 billion of our own money in more than 200 projects. Renewables comprise 60% of IFC's $6 billion portfolio to date. We also believe that infrastructure investments are essential to growth, prosperity, job creation, and quality of life. That's why we work to improve access to energy, transportation, and municipal infrastructure through investments and advisory engagements that open markets, spur growth, and create jobs. We aim to offer solutions that draw on our country knowledge, our established relationships, regulatory and sector expertise, and our unparalleled track record of leading pioneering projects in developing countries in the world. The second important point to make is from the Georgian perspective. IFC's strategy is always driven by the needs of each region and country. If the current trend of electricity consumption continues unabated in Georgia, the country will have a significant energy generation deficit in a decade. 
Domestic demand, which is expected to grow in line with the rising gross domestic product, will require the country to generate around 65% more power by 2025. So what is the solution? Taking advantage of what Georgia has in abundance, which is water. The country ranks third in Europe in terms of hydropower potential, yet its hydro sector is amongst the regions least developed, with just 20% of potential capacity. Embracing this capacity and developing the necessary transmission infrastructure will not only help Georgia meet its own energy demand, but could also spur economic growth through export revenues and transit fees. Economic growth is a prerequisite for Georgia to reduce poverty and improve shared prosperity for the bottom 40% of the population. We believe that the country needs to improve its exports substantially and use the energy sector as one of the industry sectors to achieve this. The World Bank Group has supported the Georgian government's strategy of developing the country's power sector. As part of this work, IFC is involved in several hydropower projects in Georgia, which projects will increase the country's power generation by around 20%. And we are honored to have a special role in this landmark Shua Kefi project. IFC is the largest development institution focused on the private sector in emerging markets in the world, has played a key role in bringing many hydro, hydro projects to life. So we were able to bring our global expertise to help Georgia develop this project in line with the highest standards and attract more investment to its power sector. IFC has co-developed this project early on from its development phase in 2011, and we have provided capital via the IFC Infra Ventures Global Project Development Facility. And we have helped Tata Power join the project. We also helped mobilize the finance package for this project which became the largest ever hydropower investment in Georgia to date. The 250 million debt financing arranged by IFC consists of two $90 million loans by ADB and EBRD, and 70 million by IFC. In addition, IFC has provided equity for $34 million. IFC's sister organization, the World Bank, who focuses on the public sector, has financed the transmission line which will connect the Shuakefi plant to Georgia's national grid and improve power supply to the Ajara region. Together with the World Bank, IFC is supportive of an energy market trading initiative to develop Georgia into a regional energy trading hub. And we stand ready to advise and finance private sector engagement in energy transmission, to which we see opportunities and have ample experience in. Finally, I want to highlight the third reason why this project is important to IFC. Leveraging the country's strategic geographical position and abundant hydropower supply is not an end in itself. We believe this should always be accompanied by a systematic assessment of the potential economic, environmental, and social impact of projects. Only world-class projects can bring additional benefits and safeguards for communities and countries, which is why every project that IFC invests in, like this one, must meet our stringent performance standards. We are confident that the Shua Kefi project will be one of those world-class projects which will benefit the people of Georgia, and in particular, the communities in the Ajara region. I hope that many of you have had the chance to see the results of the wide range of social projects supported by the Shua Kefi project. In total, the project has supported more than 70 social projects and spent around 6 million Georgian Lari to create opportunities for local residents to improve their lives from starting new businesses to learning a foreign language. And there is more to come. Shuakefi will ensure regular earnings to local communities' budgets, enabling more roads to be built and more infrastructure projects to be financed in the future. In conclusion, let me reiterate our belief that the private sector, as the engine of economic growth, plays a leading role in boosting and attracting the necessary investments to Georgia. 
including to Georgia's power sector. By supporting this project, our aim was to unlock a long-term source of clean energy and to increase investors' confidence in Georgia's power sector. We are pleased to see Shuagevi mark a key milestone in Georgia's efforts to become a power trading hub and serve as a demonstration for other private sector players to invest in this sector. We are hopeful that the Shuagevi project will be a game changer in Georgia's efforts to achieve, to achieve energy security and improve the lives of thousands of its citizens. Let me extend our special thanks once again to our fellow shareholders and fellow lenders, other parties involved in the project, and particularly to the Georgian government for their vision, cooperation, and dedication to make the project a success. I would like to congratulate you all on achieving this important milestone for the people of Ajara, for Georgia, and for the wider region. Thank you. Thank you, and once again, big thanks to IFC for believing in the project, not only as a shareholder, but as a lead financier to the project. It is, I, I would now like to welcome Mr. David Managadze from EBRD, who are also co-financiers to the project. Mr. David, please. Uh, your, your Excellencies, distinguished guests, um, Ladies and gentlemen, and friends, I am honored to address you on this opening ceremony on behalf of European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. This uh, um, project is now marked uh, important milestone, completion of construction, and uh, uh, completion of uh, construction of this challenging project is very important. It's not only important for Georgia, but it shows that uh, the Georgia is not only on the forefront on, of developments of renewable capacity, but also uh, it's on the forefront of developing of most uh, challenging technical, technical challenging projects. It was mentioned that this project has 37 kilometers of underground tunnel and it is the second uh, uh, longest, it is the second longest tunnel in the world and it was completed on time and it, I want to thank uh, the sponsors for excellent management of this uh, construction process. I want to thank the uh, government for support uh, in this process. And of course, uh, this would not be possible without uh, uh, participation of the lenders. Uh, a lot of, uh, here, a lot of previous, previous speakers mentioned, spoke a lot about the cooperation between the government, investors, and the financiers. And uh, uh, this project, like many others, is a good example. I want uh, uh, to remind you that in the region, there are other countries that have a lot of uh, untapped uh, renewable potential and uh, resources, but they are not uh, um, interesting for investors and uh, we do not see a rush of investors to invest in those countries. Therefore, support of the government is very important in this process and uh, support of the government allowed uh, all of us together with sponsors on this project and with uh, our fellow lenders, IFC and ADB to finance uh, many other projects because uh, we as EBRD we have uh, financed uh, more than 400 megawatt of renewable capacity in the last uh, uh, several years in this country and we are looking forward to finance much more. Uh, Prime Minister mentioned about uh, the initiative to, uh, to uh, IPO to make an IPO for the Gori Wind project as a, and as a big supporter of this project and as a, one of the financiers, we would uh, welcome this initiative and we would be full supportive for, for the uh, development of local capital markets. Uh, I want once again to thank all the uh, stakeholders in this uh, project and uh, uh, to, uh, to wish you all the success in the future and uh, uh, looking forward to for the opening of uh, uh, much more and new projects in Georgia in the future. Thanks.
Thank you, Mr. David. Now it's my privilege to welcome another financier to the project, Mr. Samarindra Singh from ADB, Asian Development Bank. Mr. Samarindra Singh. Minister, uh, various other executives present here, ladies and gentlemen. I shall try and keep it very short and simple. Uh, on behalf of ADB, we'd like to congratulate the, the, the government, the sponsors, the company, and the various stakeholders on an extremely successful completion of this project on time and within budget. Thank you very much. Honorable Prime Minister, all the invited dignitaries, including Deputy Prime Ministers and all uh, functionaries of the Georgian government agencies, my colleagues from the project team, my consultants and contractors, a big thank you for taking time out, out of your busy schedules to be present and honoring us on this occasion. This day is very important for every employee of this company. We have been successful in completing the construction of this large and complex project using latest technology and meeting top quality standards. As our sponsors have already expressed, safety and care for community has been the highest priority and focus areas while executing this project. At the same time, we ensured that the project also contributed tremendously to the local communities in terms of not only providing temporary employment, but also seeing that they have future employment opportunities and develop skill set and capabilities, which will go a long way uh, for developing the region of Ajara. I would also like to thank the local municipalities, the, all the officials, whom we have been uh, interacting with for the tremendous support and actually solving most of our issues and resolving from time to time and helping us to complete this project in record time. One of our key areas that we mentioned was education and I'm happy uh, to announce that 90% of the employees of this company in the operation phase will be from local employees and this will only go up. A day will come when this company will probably run by the entire Georgian employees and we would be looking forward to that day. Just one last, uh, I, I would also like to acknowledge some of the uh, dignitaries that have come here from a very long way off. In particular, I would like to say a special thank you to Mr. Stula Steinswick, founder of the Norsk Mineral Group, who has been supporting clean energy and this project through its tremendous involvement from time to time. Thank you, Mr. Steinswick. I would also like to thank Mr. Kire Olafsson, CEO of Norsk Mineral, for giving guidance to the supervisory board from time to time, and also all the other project participants, and of course my colleagues in the AGL family. I love you all. It's because of you that we are seeing this project realized this day. Thank you very much. <laughs> Last but not least, there are so many people who have been involved in organizing function, working silently to making this project a big success. Event management companies, our admin support, so many others. A big thank you to all. I would just once again say, sir, thank you very much for your precious time, and God bless Georgia. Thank you very much. I would, I would like to invite Prime Minister and Deputy Prime Ministers for a small tour of the power plant to help us showcase what we have built here. Thank you.